There's a lot of controversy around Chinese cars. Years ago, they were known for being cheap and poorly built, but things have changed. The problem is, in Australia, many people still think that way. After watching this, you might change your mind. We're in China, and Byron's testing one of the most impressive SUVs yet, the BYD Bao 8. A plug-in hybrid off-roader with up to around 550 kilowatts of power, 738 horsepower, and a 36.8 kilowatt hour blade battery that delivers about 100 kilometers of electric range. This isn't the China you thought you knew. So we're here and we're checking out and look what it is we've got. We've got a Bow 8. Look at this. Bow 8. Morning, hey, morning. How are you? Ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Hey, all right. Look at this. It's a transformer, Bow 8. Yeah. Okay, so if you press this button, it'll transform. This is the Bow 8. What do you guys think? We'll be getting these in Australia. I'm so excited. But to actually have a decent drive in it, so we're going to go get Yum Cha before we get taken to the airport. Um, so this is our shipping agent, this is his daily car. His wife's got a Porsche. He's got every single stick on accessory you can buy. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really nice car. So let's go for a drive in the Bow 8 and see how it feels on road. I'll see if I can convince him to go off-road. What do you guys reckon? Hey, Mate, it's got captain's chairs in the rear. This is how much luggage we can fit in here. Let's have a look. A lot of luggage. All right, so. This is the space you get. I got a big suitcase, a box. It's got all my deck lights in it that we found eventually. I got them to ship it from Shenzhen to here yesterday in four hours. Okay, so that was like 150 kilometers away from us in a different city. And this is the back, all right? So you've got two seats under there. Sorry, three seats, seats under there. Sorry, three seats under there. Yeah, 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 seven seater. He's even put the LED strip lighting around the edge. Look at that. There's aftermarket accessory. It's got Type C in the back. Look at that. Speakers in the back. It's all Alcantara. See this? All Alcantara. Look at that. Even got a outlet in the rear as well. Tie down point, subwoofer behind there. All right. Where's the rest of the suitcases, Rico? Huh? See, this is why you just carry your own stuff to the to the car yourself, mate. Don't yeah. be lazy, don't rely on them, you know what I mean? Uh, you pay how much for the hotel and they come to service? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's man, I'm so excited. I'm so oh my god, he's put everything on here, literally look. They even got like these. <laughs> like every that's what Rico was saying. Rico goes to me, you're not gonna believe this, it's got like every tab out accessory on this car. Now I understand what he's talking about. I don't know how to turn this bloody thing off. I'll maybe hold it. So cool though. Anyway, let's get out of here and um, let's go. So we're testing the autonomous driving now in the Bow 8. So it's gonna drive us to our destination. We're gonna arrive at our destination in 20 minutes. It's at 7.50. So you can see we're turning onto the main road. It's then changing lanes. Gonna stop at the traffic light. It knows when the traffic light's green. There we go. It keeps going. Hi, cool. <laughs> stop at traffic lights and everything. So yesterday's car, the um, Huawei car. All right, it's two years old, but you need to hold the steering wheel every two minutes. This one's every five minutes, you need to touch the steering wheel, which is awesome. We're going around this, 2.7 bar. Look at this, real tight. It's fine. All itself. We're gonna merge on back onto the... Like, the, like a Riverside Expressway. See how it does, merging here. Put his blinker on. Merges. Mm. 
Shows all your angles, compass. Everything. Snow mode. Desert mode. Not sand mode. Got all the different modes through here. All in Chinese. You can't go to some of them. And then you've also you've also got the turning feature in this. Okay, so this is the battery management. You can also move the navigation around the screen. So we're sitting at 63% battery and SOC is set to 50%, you can see there. So it's obviously trying to keep the charge. We're using 10.3 liters per 100 kilometers an hour. And that's with being below the SOC. So that's going to be, engine's going to be on, always trying to charge. Okay, because it's trying to keep it at your sort of, um, I think, what did I say it was before? Your SOC set to your SOC. Oh no, your SOC set to 30%. But obviously you can change that. Devil A sound system. I'll have to test that later and see how good the Devil A sound system is. Is your suspension adjustable? <laughs> suspicion. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're trying to figure out where the setting is on the menu to adjust the DC suspension, but it's all in Chinese, so I can't find it. How good's how they have these in certain cars. I reckon it's such a good idea. So you have like two sections. So you don't only really have your sun visor for the side, and you can use it at the front as well, but you have one for the front and one for the side. So if the sun's really bad, you can block all of the sun. It comes down quite far, so definitely not going to get blinded by the sun. Okay. So he's put in all this additional <laughs> lighting here. This one here. So the top one's original, and this one he's put in here, this bright one. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna jump out of. Okay, we're just gonna jump out of the car, and the car is gonna literally park itself now. So let's jump out. How cool is that? All right. Hang on. Wait. Uh, let's put this in here. Cool is that just parked itself. <laughs> Look at this. Three number plates. Man, that is gangster. So apparently they're comparing the um they're comparing the Zika 9X to this eh? Well the owner of this car apparently has a gold phantom as well, not just this one. So he's like super rich. Three number plates on it. So the reason he's got three number plates is he'll have Hong Kong number plates as well, see? So he can go to Hong Kong, so yeah. So we're gonna go grab some brekkie, um, and some yum cha, and then we're gonna head to the airport after that. So this yum cha place we're going to has been literally open their first store in 1890. That's how long they've been around. So I'm sure this food's gonna be absolutely amazing. Michelin Awards up there. Might be a re uh, recommended by Michelin. It may not necessarily have a Michelin Award. So we've only got 12 dishes coming. I'm not sure if that's enough for Rico. <laughs> Definitely enough for me. He was like, is 12 dishes enough? I'm like, yeah, I think that's good. It's a good amount between three people. I'm gonna drive the car from your mobile phone. 
Look, so he's pushed forward. And now the car's moving. And he can, you can turn it too, or? Yeah. Oh, you can turn it on steering. You can steer it and you can reverse. So cool. Another thing that I noticed in the um, Bow 8 is when you get in, the seatbelt's auto tension. So they've got like, auto tension is built in. It like, re retracts, that puts tension on you. So do you see that feature? He was just showing us how you can pull out a car park at the phone, you can steer it yourself, you can do all sorts of things from the application. Now, I don't think we're gonna get that in Australia because they'll take off all the LiDAR and all the fancy stuff for Australian market. I think they'll keep it on there, which sucks. So we won't get any of this self-driving level two. We'll just get your normal adaptive cruise control, which is like so like five years, 10 years ago. Anyway, joys of living in Australia. Are you comfortable? Comfortable, I have really <laughs> I told him to brake and he said no, no, no. I said just <laughs> slam the brake on. <laughs> Going through the tolls, accelerate fast. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ready? Ooh, good speed. <laughs> Rico's asleep in the back and wakes, having fun. <laughs> and you can choose what scent you have in the car. See this? You buy these and then you replace it down here. Put it back in like this. And that's your air freshener. So you get three different fragrances. So we're at the airport now. Rico's still asleep in the back. And then you've got all the controls here as well to control your seats, 12 volt. You put up the rear seats, you can also fold it from here, see? But yeah, that's about how much, this is about how much space you get in the back with this rear row up. So with the seventh row up, you don't have much space. Literally a few backpacks in the back. So you can see that. With this back row up, you get about a backpack width. All right, Rico. Now you can sure. sleep on the plane. Sleep on the plane. Okay, thank you. Shashini. All right, we've got our moon cakes. <laughs> so they've got boxes at the so, airport and they're gonna package our stuff for us. This is a traditional brand in China. The traditional brand, brand is 100 years old. 100 year old yeah, brand? So the, uh, supplier. That's like as old as you, Rico. Yeah, no, almost, almost. And then we're gonna put this, which is my lighting in there as well. Moon cake. Put the moon cake in there. So watch this, guys. He's gonna wrap the box up. Well, he's gonna wrap it. Supplied the box. He's gonna wrap it now and then he's gonna put some of the strapping tape on it. I've seen them wrap in Brisbane Airport in many airports, obviously, even in Indonesia, Vietnam. But I haven't really seen them supply a box with um, strapping tape on it. Watch how good this is. So he's going to strap it that way, and he's going to put a little carry handle. Think of everything. Watch this cushion on there for your hand to grip onto so you're not holding on straight onto the strapping tape. He feeds it back through and he feeds it underneath this and he pulls that and he feeds it back through again and he goes back down the other side, feeds it back into the machine and then Bob's your uncle. Look at that. I think that's pretty safe Rico. Okay. Ah, thank you. How much was that? Twenty bucks. Fifteen dollars, including the box. How good's that? You press my airport. That's forty bucks. <laughs> I don't think they even supply boxes.